Many newer lifters spend much of their time trying to design their workouts rather than actually doing them. But at the novice level, you really don't need to focus on specialization or on creating a perfect workout. Instead, you need to focus on selecting the right exercises and having the right amount of hard sets in order to gain the appropriate stimulus. Today, I'll take you through each exercise in one of my upper body workouts, why I chose each exercise and how I programmed it, as well as giving tips and tricks you can use in your own programming. Although non-traditional, we open up the workout with a superset because the goal of the workout is hypertrophy and not building the maximal strength. We don't need to worry about having long rest periods in order to have the best performance on a heavy compound lift. Instead, we have bodyweight pull-ups for as many reps as possible, superset with what I've taken to calling hammer press, which is a close grip, triple paused feet up bench in the five to 10 rep range. This combination is a pretty awesome one, as the warmed up back from the pull-ups keeps the shoulders very happy while pressing, and because it gives additional work to the long head of the triceps, as the long head gets a degree of pre-fatigue from doing pull-ups, allowing the close grip bench to stimulate it more, while it's still not the limiting factor. With the pull-ups, I try to keep a standard range of motion, chin above the bar or it doesn't count, and holding the rip, even for a half second at the top. This also involves the biceps and forearms to a greater extent, making the pull-up not only a good exercise for the back, but one that contributes some token volume to the arms. Likewise, the hammer press uses its long pause to do a number of things. One is to force rep quality by standardizing each rep. The second is giving the muscles more time under tension in the stretch position. I do these with a bald Omniman style t-shirt touch pause, where I keep tension in the bar even at the bottom. This helps to build both strength off the chest and get more out of less weight from a hypertrophy and strength standpoint. These two exercises were also chosen because they allow the target muscles to accumulate lots of high quality work without needing much weight, and because they don't create much systemic fatigue at all. In total, the superset is done with four sets for each exercise and was given a two minute timer for rest in between the sets. Now that my biceps, triceps, lats, and shoulders have all been thoroughly warmed up, We'll move on to the second section of the workout, which will target all these same muscles, but with a different emphasis. The two exercises I selected for this superset were, one, the cross bench straight bar pullover, which works all kinds of muscles in the upper body, including the lats, chest, long head of the triceps, abs, serratus muscles, and teres muscles. For more information, you can check out this video here, and I'm doing it for four sets of 12. The second exercise is upright rows, which is an exercise which is criminally underrated, and I highly recommend that you find a way to do them. I find I'm most comfortable with a straight bar because it allows me to position my wrists better by allowing me to turn my hands inwards. This will work the rear and especially side delts and the elbow flexors like the biceps and forearms. It will also tax your grip, making this exercise a pretty complete outer limb builder. Here I'm going for four sets of 12 to 15. What's nice about the combination of the pullovers and the upright rows is that together they put a lot of diffused tonnage through the whole upper body without interfering with each other, and also targeting a lot of things that people often forget to target, such as the side and rear delts, the forearms, serratus, and the long head of the triceps. Although these two exercises may not be the best exercise for targeting any one particular muscle that they work, I make use of them because of their ability to complement the first superset, by working all the muscles we've already worked, just in a slightly different way. By thinking of the second superset as complementary to the first, rather than on its own, you can see why all this diffused stimulus might be pretty good. Although I hadn't trained forearms or biceps directly, nor did I train triceps directly, I had a pretty big arm pump by the time the second superset was done. Now although the pump isn't everything, it can be a pretty good indicator, along with accompanying local fatigue, twitchiness, or general lack of strength in the muscle, that a good stimulation to the muscle was had. For good measure, I finished the workout with a simple two sets of concentration curls. With my biceps being pretty pumped, these were really quite difficult. I'm still experimenting with these as an exercise, but I can tell you my biceps felt even more worked by the end of it. With only five exercises then, I completed a full upper body day. You could do this workout yourself, or think about replacing certain things. For instance, you could replace upright rows with lateral raises and hammer curls, or swap out the bench press for dips, or add more direct back or chest work in place of the pullovers. But the principles of choosing each exercise carefully and with a purpose, and choosing the right amount of volume and rep range, can make designing any given workout much easier than some people might make it out to be. And I encourage you to experiment and play around thinking about the structure of your workouts. Leave a comment giving your rationale behind how you structure your upper body days, and subscribe for more hopefully interesting content. That all said, that's all for now. Take care, train hard, and have a great day.